Welcome back. Yesterday, the Iowa Team Duels took center stage at the Wells Fargo Arena. And today, state wrestling moving on to the individual tournaments. 80 Sioux Land wrestlers hoping to punch their tickets to tomorrow's semifinal round. KCAU 9's Jacob Russo is in Des Moines all week and brings us our highlights now. Well, Jake, it is finally here. The Iowa State Wrestling Tournament has begun. There are over 80 Siouxland wrestlers throwing their hat into the ring to try and get the state title. So let's jump right in. Starting early with Class 1A. At 113, West Sioux's Braden Graff goes to work. He gets the fall in 45 seconds to secure himself a spot in the quarterfinals. On to 126, where top seed Bo Clayton Smith of Woodbury Central gets the win with a pin in the first period. He is moving on. Kind of what I expect to get it done, get on and off the mat right away. I mean, it feels good to get the day over with right away in the morning. Kind of fun, like the morning sessions, morning weigh ins, you got all day of rest. On to 132, Sioux Central's Chris Ferguson. He's going to get the takedown for two. He'd win to move on as well. Up to 138, West Sioux's Cullen Kudum battling Lawton Bronson's Matt Peters. Kudum was on a roll in this one. He got multiple takedowns on his way to a tech fall victory. It was good. Um, didn't wrestle my, my best, but got a win. Um, just got to be ready for next round. On to 152, where Jace Mulder of Western Christian tore through his opponent. He'd win via major decision. Up to 170, South Central Calhoun's Blake McAllister. He faced off with Akron Westfield's Elaine Kenny. McAllister got the job done quick. The pin in the first period seals the deal for him. Also at 170, Sibley O'Cheatin's Dawson DeYoung. He's going to get the takedown, and he would go on to win by decision. On to 182, where Westwood sophomore Jackson DeWald is going to work his man down for the pin and punch his ticket to the quarterfinals. It felt good. Uh, the goal was just get in, turn him, get out, uh, call it a day, go back, get rested, hydrated. You know, uh, just one match at a time here. Up to 220 for Hitton's Derek Anderson. He's been dominant all year long, and he's dominant here. The first period pin is going to earn him a spot in the next round. And finally, the big fellas, 285. Pocahontas area's Dane Johnson gets the fall. All told, 18 Siouxland wrestlers are competing again tomorrow. Now on to 3A, Sioux City North's Nick Walters at 126. After a dominant match, Walters close to winning by tech fall, but instead he winds up winning by fall. He is moving on. Win one, you're done, go on to the next day. Win another one, you're in placing rounds, and that's what I'm here to do, place as high as possible. Up to 220, Spencer's Logan Huck felt in a tied match. He's going to need some points to break the tie, and he does it. He's moving on via decision. Still at 220, Lamar's Colton Hogue makes quick work of his first-round matchup, taking his man down and pinning him within 30 seconds to earn himself a spot in the quarters. My mindset will be the same as every day. Just go out and dominate. Just Nothing really changes. No matter what day it is, I just like to go out there and dominate. And that was just the first two sessions. We're going to have more wrestling on the way. The two-way wrestlers are competing tonight. We'll have those highlights tonight at 10. But for now, from Des Moines, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 Sports.